Hello all. First thread, hope I don't mess up too badly. I live in a secluded area, surrounded by nature and a heavily wooded forest. My family and I often drive into town, around 15 miles away, because there's nothing to do at home but listen to the frogs croak. We don't have street lights, and at night, driving down the long stretches of two-lane road can get pretty creepy. Most nights, you can only see what's illuminated by your headlights and nothing else it's like driving into the unknown. Anyways, one night it was particularly dark and spooky, and I was scaring myself by imagining things lurking about in the trees. I asked my brother, who was driving, if he'd ever seen things late at night out here. He surprised me by saying he had, things like people walking down the side of the road, cars that disappeared, etc. He told me his girlfriend had also seen scary things while driving down. Is this a common occurrence? My brother told me the mind plays tricks on people when they drive down long stretches of road late at night and just chalked up his experiences to a bored mind, but I can't help but wonder if there's something more. Probably not but I'd love to read some other accounts of driving terrors. I was driving down a country lane with a couple of friends at night, one of those single track, hedge bound roads, and as we turned a curve my usually loquacious friend in the passenger seat turned quiet for a while. After a few minutes I asked her what was up and she said she didn't want to talk about it. We kept on at her and eventually she said she'd seen a tatty old man at the curve who was there one second and gone the next. There was no junction there, and the road went through fields with no houses around. I joked that my hazard perception must be off if I didn't spot him, and we laughed it off for her sake. Fast forward a few days later, and the other friend in the car, who lives in the same area as that road, said that on the nearby highway he saw a bedraggled old man carrying a duvet down the middle of the carriageway row flow, I quickly told my clairvoyant friend of this news. Kind of related, sometimes when driving alone, and normally in a quiet or rural location, I get the feeling there is someone else in the car with me. Normally it feels like they are in the back seat, just over my left shoulder. The first time I experienced this I was quite a new driver. I got the distinct feeling of a presence in the car, and less than a minute later I had an accident, striking a humpback bridge. I wasn't hurt, but the car was rendered undrivable. I wouldn't say I was particularly distracted by the feeling of not being alone, this certainly wasn't the cause of the accident, so I wonder if it was someone trying to warn me of a hazard ahead. I've had this feeling several times since then, and I always take it as a cue to be extra vigilant and slow down if necessary. That said, I had a more serious crash some years later, and don't recall feeling any presence beforehand on that occasion. I have no sense of direction. I don't know why, but it has been a problem my entire life. Therefore, whenever I have to drive somewhere that is unfamiliar to me, I always bring a co-pilot. I've been driving for a long time, I'm gonna go with decades, because I don't want to reveal my age. I have never had an accident or any kind of traffic violation, not even so much as a parking ticket. On February 28, 2017, my next door neighbor, who doesn't have a car, and was short on cash, asked if I would take him to his brother's place because he had about $80 worth of bottles and cans for recycling that he, my neighbor, wanted to cash in. About halfway there, we were sitting at a stoplight and when it turned green, right when I stepped on the gas, I had this flash in my mind, it was really fast, only lasted about two seconds of me seeing a car accident. I told my neighbor about it. Here's how the conversation went. Me, that was weird. Him, what? Me, I just had a flash vision that I'm going to witness a car crash or maybe be involved in a car crash. Him, that is weird. Me, I know, right? I've never experienced a flash like that before. Him, you're a really good driver so. If anything it must mean you're going to witness one. Me, well, I won't be happy about either scenario so, I vote that it was nothing. Him, yep, me too. Then all was forgotten. We get there, he loads the bags in the car, then it's off to the bottle depot. 
I have no idea where it is so, he's giving me directions, turn left here, turn right here, blah, blah, blah. We're sitting at a stop sign and the sun was positioned so that even the visor didn't help. The glare was covering the entire windshield. I looked in all directions, thought it was safe and proceeded forward. I smashed right into a SUV, to my right, that was the exact same color as the shade it was in. I struck that SUV in the perfect location to cause it to do a complete spin around. Like a police pit maneuver. I took my foot off the gas and allowed the car to continue forward until we were out of the intersection and then parked. I couldn't believe how calm I felt. When I looked over to my neighbor, he was already halfway out of the car. He ran to the SUV and I could hear him asking if anyone was hurt. I have always known, in my heart and head that if I ever harmed anyone while driving, I would never be able to drive again. Hearing him ask that question was like a knife going straight through me. The answer was no, no one was hurt. I said to my neighbor, do you remember that flash I had? His mouth dropped open, eyes opened wide, his hands flew into the air and he did a complete spin around. Then he said, holy shit. It's the exact same intersection. Having no sense of direction, I had no idea we were in the same spot. Even after he said that I still didn't recognize the place because we were traveling exactly where the SUV was hit when I had the flash so, it didn't look the same to me. Sometimes I have seen things in the road that simply aren't there. Normally this happens at night. A few times I have swerved to avoid a truck or something that quite suddenly appeared in front of me, more as a dark shadow than anything else. Quite scary because by swerving I could actually cause an accident rather than avoid one. There was of course nothing there and not even anything I could have mistaken for a vehicle. On another occasion I was driving up the A1, again at night, near Scotch Corner. I clearly saw a stationary small van beside me in the fast lane as I drove past. It seemed to be at a 45 degree angle, making it look like it had crashed into the central reservation. I looked in my mirrors just after I passed but couldn't see anything. I decided to call the police to tell them, don't think I pulled over, this was before the mobile phone laws came into force. Shortly afterwards they rang me back to say they had searched the road in the area and found nothing. Don't ask why I didn't stop myself and check on any occupants of the vehicle, I really don't know, except that the van had no lights on and looked abandoned, and because I couldn't see anything in the rear mirrors I half doubted myself. This was probably another hallucination, but what causes these? I've been meaning to post this story in the IHTM thread, but here seems more appropriate. First, some background. This happened to me when I was in college on Long Island. I was not a film major, but spent a good deal of time hanging out in the film department, and took some classes there. When students shot 16mm film, they'd leave it with a payment for developing, and each night a department employee, usually a student, would drive the day's footage over to the nearby home of a film lab employee so he could take it to the lab in Manhattan for processing. One quiet night I was working on a film I shot when the student manning the department asked if I wouldn't mind wrapping up so she could do the film run. She also asked me to go with her, as the house was on a dark street in a neighborhood with no street lights, and she often felt scared. I obliged, I think a ride home was part of the offer, and we soon departed. As we neared the house, driving down a narrow tree-lined road, she said let me show you why I get scared and turned off her headlights for a second. It was pitch black. When the lights came back on, I saw a large gray shape, apparently winged, pass from left to right through the trees about 10 feet off the ground. We both fell silent for a few seconds until I could bring myself to ask what the hell was that, to which she quickly and nervously replied I don't know. We soon agreed that it looked like a pterodactyl. In retrospect, I now suspect it was a large owl, not unknown in these parts. But the pterodactyl image remains with me to this day. I was driving down an empty quiet rural slash farming two-lane road very late one dark night when I realized I was passing what looked like an older square-fronted sedan with fins upended at 90 degrees in a ditch parallel to the road. 
I was past it before it registered and I said to myself, hmm strange place for an art installation. Then I went around the next bend and every emergency vehicle in the county was coming at me from the other direction with flashing lights. So I guess it was not an art installation. During my brief career as a charter bus driver, I drove a college baseball team to Oklahoma, for a long weekend in which three games were scheduled. I liked team and band trips because the groups were well behaved and generally not messy. I usually didn't have to do anything but drive, so it was pretty easy money. We rolled into town, and stopped first at our hotel so we could all check in and get ready for the team to go to the ball field for some practice. We were to be back at the bus in 30 minutes. Half an hour later, we were loaded up and ready to head out. There was one way in and out of the place, and it was a bit unusual since it required essentially circling the building. About halfway to the road, the coaches were in the front, planning what they would be doing, more or less in a huddle. The rest of the passengers were fairly quiet, which was normal. Then I saw a black cat watching our approach. Just stay put, please, kitty, I thought. Baseball players are notoriously superstitious. I decided not to slow down unless absolutely necessary, so as to avoid attracting the attention of any of my passengers. Just as the cat started walking toward the driveway, a coach looked up and said, is that a black cat? Yup. Fuck. The strategy session was derailed as I slowed to avoid hitting the thing. Lord knows what that might mean in baseball world. Things got very quiet in the bus. Practice went okay, but the team got clobbered, lost all three games. Way back in my late teens, a friend was riding with me in my car. I mentioned that I had seen several black cats crossing roads in front of me in a short period of time and in different areas. Neither of us was superstitious, but we both thought it was odd. Before we could go on to some other topic of conversation, a coal black cat appeared to be awaiting out approach, at the side of the road, and then casually sauntered across in front of us. Neither of us said a word. I've posted this before but I don't know where but I'll post it again here. In 2008 I was living in Maidenhead. Of a weekend I would spend one night in Maidenhead pubs ending up at Smokey Joe's, the other I would catch the train to Marlow for a night out. It would be decided on which night had the best band at Smokey Joe's, the other I would do Marlow. It was a summer evening and I got the train to Marlow, the only downside was the last train left Marlow at about 10 minutes past midnight. A nice evening had culminated into being in the ship at 11.30 and being in a nice conversation with a few faces I knew. The pub stayed open until at least 1 am, another one later and I decided to stay until the end and walk home the 6 miles home. I was a warm summer's evening. So at 1.30 after getting the proverbial chucked out I set off walking. It a moonlit night so not too dark. I crossed the Bisham roundabout and as I walked up the Marlow Road to Pinckney's Green a car coming the other way saw me in his headlights coming round a bend and immediately slowed and stopped. As the car started doing a three point turn I realized maybe it was a taxi seeing me as a potential fare, or maybe it was much worse than that. So I hid behind a tree as the car turned round and came back. It passed me slowly and a little bit further up the road it did another turn carried on in its original direction. I'm sure to this day there is a taxi driver in Maidenhead who tells friends of the night he saw a ghost. Many years ago I was part of a small group of men who did building contract work in London. We'd travel down from Yorkshire in a van on the Monday morning and return home on Friday evening. The Monday morning drive down was often tortuous as frankly, none of us wanted to leave our young families behind but, work was work. The journey home on the Friday was the complete opposite though as we were all looking forward to getting back. During one journey home we all had, there was about six of us in the van, a strange experience. We were on the M1 motorway around Northamptonshire and laughing and joking with the radio playing loudly. We were all in a very good mood when quite suddenly we all fell silent. Speaking personally I suddenly felt a huge emotional feeling of extreme sadness and distress overcome me, like nothing I'd felt before or since. It was so intense that I felt that I could almost physically touch this emotion. It was as though a black veil had come down across me. It's very difficult for me to describe the intensity of it. 
After 10 or 20 seconds this feeling completely disappeared much to my relief. It was at this point I realized that everyone was silent and seemingly in their own thoughts which was really unusual for this group. A moment later the lad who was sat beside me turned and said did you just feel that too? We all then shared similar experiences of that few seconds where each of us seemingly had feelings of what can only be described as utter sadness, torment and desperation. It was truly awful and extremely odd. It was during this conversation that the lad driving noticed that the radio had turned itself off during those moments and had to be physically switched back on again. The experience completely baffled us all and every time we drove past that same spot we always mentioned it but didn't experience it ever again.